In this video, we are going to talk about live migration on Windows Server 2016 and also configure live migration on some Hyper-V servers using PowerShell and at the end, live migrate AVM also using PowerShell. First things first, let's talk about what is live migration. So the act of live migrating AVM from one Hyper-V host to another means that you will migrate that VM without turning it off and with minimal connectivity loss. So maybe you will lose maximum one or two pings and this of course is depending on the hardware that you will use. There are four types of live migration that I want to talk about and the first one is live migration in a failover cluster. This is the most simple uh, migration that you can do. So you have two Hyper-V servers that form a failover cluster and when you migrate AVM from one node to the other, you will actually only have to migrate the VM state because the files and the virtual hard disks are located on the cluster shell storage. The next live migration type is live migrating virtual machines that have their files stored on SMB shares. And this one is a step lower than the first one, but it's still somewhat similar because you have a two Hyper-V nodes that are connected to the same SMB share. So basically you will only have to migrate the VM state because the storage remains the same. The next live migration type is live storage migration. And this one is somewhat uh, reversed from the first two. In this migration type, you leave the machine running on the Hyper-V node that it is running at the moment, but you will migrate its files to another uh, location. Say for example that you have a VM which has its files on uh, a file server and you want to update that file server you can migrate its files to another share on another server and start your update and restart procedure. The last migration type that I want to cover is a shared nothing live migration. And this is the most interesting one and the one that we will do in this video. And in this migration type, you don't have to have anything shared. Your machine is running on a Hyper-V host you want to migrate it to another Hyper-V host and everything will be copied over the network. While a Share Nothing Live migration first came out in Windows Server 2012, a lot of improvements have been done in Windows Server 2012 R2, which also carry on to Windows Server 2016. You can do live migration and uh, while doing the live migration, you can use compression, which of course will speed up the migration and will cause a little overhead on the CPU, of course. And even faster than this, you can use SMB and SMB multi-channel to do live migrations. And where available, you can also leverage your RDMA network cards. And you cannot use compression and SMB together. You have to choose one or the other. So now let's begin with the PowerShell code. The first command that I want to run is a command that will configure a couple of settings uh, for our live migration uh, on the Hyper-V host. So I want to set live migration to use Kerberos as the authentication type between the servers that will host the machines and I will set use any network for migration. Uh, you can, for example, configure if you have uh, multiple network cards to use a specific network to do only live migrations and to leave the normal virtual machine traffic on another network. I will configure it to use any network that is available since we only have one network card. And I will run this command on our two Hyper-V hosts.
the next three commands we don't have to run any of them but i just uh, have them here so you can use them if you need them these commands are used to set the three different uh, types of live migration meaning you can use compression you can use smb or you can use the normal live migration over tcp ip without uh, compression now after we set the live migration settings we also have to enable it using enable vm migration and of course i will run this on our two hosts and if you don't want to use any network for migration you have the uh, possibility to specify a uh, network that will uh, be used for migrating machines using this command okay so that was it for setting up live migration uh, before i continue i want to also show you in the graphical interface how these settings look so just go to hyper-v settings and in hyper-v settings go to live migration and you can see that live migration is enabled we are using any available network and if we go to advanced we are using Kerberos and the default uh, performance option is compression which is perfect for us now I am going to live migrate test VM1 from HVSO1 to HV1 and I will uh, want also to run a ping to see how many pings we will lose during this migration please keep in mind that this is not the best environment to test this so i'm sure that we will uh, not have the best connectivity during the live migration but when you will perform it on real hardware that is a little more beefy than my virtual machine i'm sure that you will not even sense that you are doing a migration at that moment so let's run the command we are going to use move vm we are going to move this vm and we are going to move it to hv1 but we have to run this command directly from the hyper-v host so this is the hyper-v host i will run the command right now and let's uh, see how the performance will be for our ping so uh, at the moment the ping is going strong but also the migration is uh, in the beginning and the very interesting we actually did not even lose any ping uh, the machine has been live migrated very nicely from uh, one host to the other the only difference is the only thing that shows that the migration happened is that one ping had a very big uh, delay compared to the others so that was it for doing uh, live migration with powershell on windows server 2016 please leave a like on the video and share it also consider subscribing to be notified when i put out new videos and thanks a lot for watching